Hi, this is Joe from F5's Dev Central. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the iControl SDK and different ways to get at it and uh, kind of how to navigate through it and find a find your way and make your make make sense out of everything. So, what we want to do first is we want to go into devcentral.f5.com and make sure you log yourself in because you won't be able to download the SDK without that. Uh, the, without being logged in. So what I'm going to do is go to F, F5 Dev Central, click on the docs, and let's scroll down to iControl here. We click on iControl. That'll take us to the iControl overview page. Um, you'll see on this page we've got uh, um, topics and blog posts and uh, different uh, iControl forum posts and sample code and things like that. Um, you'll see on the right here, on the right middle part of the page here you'll have some download links. So we have separate, two, um, two main forms of our SDK. We've got a downloadable zip file that you can unload and it's got all of the sample, the API references, the sample code, the about docs, overview documentation and all that. So there's a lot of a uh, lot of samples and things in there that are kind of important to, to get, if you want to get your hands on and dig through. Um, the downloadable SDK is the way to go. So when you click on this it'll take you down to a zip file or um, um, and you take that into your whether your Windows or Unix PC un, um, unzip it and you've got a file system and what will happen is you open that up um, the index file in there and it'll look just like this the iControl SDK on the left side here we've got our um, the menuing system for overview you can see the introduction we've got the EULA, EULA and things like that um, introduction kind of talks about uh, what the SDK is and where you can get more information on it product requirements the components um, some things about the sample code on that are on the disk gives you an overview of all the sample applications here and the languages that we support um, what you want to do is uh, Let's see what else we got. Oh, these are all the interfaces within the SDK. The um, the overview section is is great um, for coming in first time, but really what you want to do is you want to get into the API reference. It'll show you what you need to do. Now, the first thing um, issue that we have from customers going into the SDK is that it seems a bit overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, and I think the main thing to do is to become familiar with the big IP itself first. And when you understand the components of a big IP and how it works, the SDK flows um, flows totally and matches pretty much one to one with how the the product is designed. So if you go into the administrative GUI for the uh, for the big IP, you'll see things like local traffic and global traffic and network. And if you go over to the SDK, you'll see similar things. You've got local LB for local load balancing, global LB for global load balancing, um, networking for the internal networking. We've got system down here for system level pieces. So the pieces that are in the GUI are mapped into the SDK similarly in similar locations. So in the GUI let's say you want to go in you want to go into local traffic and let's say I want to look at my pools of servers. Well in the SDK you would do the same thing. You would go into local LB and go down to pool and this gives you all the methods that are available for pools. Um, the methods are named um, you know pretty understandably so if you want to um, delete a pool you look for the delete pool method if you want to create a pool you would use the create method like this it shows you um, a, a language agnostic form of the interface here um, with the definition the reason why we do this is because we support Perl and Java and .NET C Sharp VB instead of having 60 method declarations for every language in the world that's supported for every client binding We've got something that's uh, somewhat universally understood. Um, Multi-dimensional array here with multiple brackets, single-dimensional array with single brackets. Um, everything's clickable on here. You can click in and look what an IP port definition is. It's a, it's a structure with the uh, following members of these types. So it shows you how you do. You go back, let's go back to the pool. You can do stuff like git list. Almost every object type has a git list which returns you typically a string but sometimes it will return you um, structures depend if the data inside the um, component is more than just a string like if I wanted to go into pool member and um, look at the statistics I would say pool member gets statistics and all of those are in the uh, AP, the um, GUI here as well so if you go into pool and I pool get list would essentially give you this drop down list on this page I want to click into let's let's say I want to pick click on pool one and look at its members right we would go into pool members 
and this would be like the giving the, getting the member list out of the pools. Um, again, all, another example, um, all, almost all the objects have something called an object status. So if you say get object status, that's another thing you want to look for. And that's a pretty detailed look as to, on the GUI here, what these um, colored indicators are. Whether it's, um, this is the availability status. Um, so if you come in here and look at availability status, you'll see it's either green, yellow, red. So you can build your own graphical representation or determine from the Big IP's GUI, you know, what does a, you know, a black diamond mean? It means it's, um, you know, it's, it's down and it's disabled. So there's the local LB. We've got things like, in, you can see in the GUI here, we've got virtual servers, pools, rules, nodes. Those are all available here, local LB. We've got node addresses, pool, pool member, um, all of the different profiles that we support, um, RAM cache information, rate class rules, uh, the iRules are in here. So the iRule editor uses this interface pretty extensively on creating and uploading iRules. Um, SNAT information, SNAT pools, virtual address, virtual servers, everything you would expect from local load balancing. Global load balancing, you've got things like your data center and wide IP and virtual servers within the wide IP. Um, regions and topologies and pools within a wide IP, um, the concepts of data center. So this may not mean a lot to you if you don't understand what um, the GTM product does. And um, so read that up and once you understand the product features, the APIs flow directly from the product features. Um, networking, you can do things like uh, deal with the ARP table, the admin inter and the different self in um, or the different interfaces on the product, the ports on the product. Um, packet filtering, port mirroring, um, the spanning tree protocol, self IPs on the device, trunks, VLANs, um, almost anything you can do from the GUI network wise you can configure through the APIs as well. System you can do things like config sync the interface is for dealing with the, uh, the system configuration and syncing across uh, multiple devices. If you want to save your configuration or you want to cause a HA pair to synchronize between each other you would use that interface. Um, failover if you want to switch a, um, a state, uh, the state of a device from active to standby and flip it back and forth, you use failover. INET is the internet settings, um, the networking settings. Um, services is the different services on the box that are running and allow you access to start and stop those. Um, whether you're like SNMP, if you want to turn that on or off, you can do that with there. Software management is how we deal with um, packages and hotfixes. So if you want to build an automated procedure to upload and query the device and upload and install hotfixes or product releases, you can do that. Um, statistics is a global statistics for the device, um, and it's broken down into several categories here. Um, you can scroll through, and you've got statistics for almost any, any component on the device you want. And system info gives you things like the, the system characteristics, what the CPU usage is, the fan and disk speed, the group, um, the, let's see what else we got down here, power supply, product information and system information. System is meaning the host name and the, the, the characteristics of the device. The product information meaning um, feature flags and what the additions are and what the product version is, things like that. Um, temperature of the device, the temperature metrics. So you can get a lot of information out of these uh, out of these APIs as far as the configuration piece of it as, and also the monitoring aspect. Now we got a lot of feedback on our SDK and um, users said, you know, it's great, I got to download it and install it, but it'd be nice to have an online version of that. So with DC4, we, we took our SDK and we turned it into a wiki. So if you go to Dev Central um, again, go into the Docs iControl page. You'll see down here um, several links for iControl. We've got the SDK online, which is um, essentially what you just saw here with the downloadable package, but in a wiki format. So if I click on this, it'll take me to the Dev Central wiki, and you'll see all the all the components in the menu that we had on the um, in the SDK: common, global, local, management. And you could drill down into these as well. So if I got a local Bell B, I can go into pool, click on there. And you've got all the methods here as well with highlights. And um, the same documentation that's in the download piece is in, in the wiki here as well. And uh, so we've got that. Um, so you've got, a, you've got an online version if you just need a quick reference. I create shortcuts in my browser to jump me up here if I need a certain method help or, 
or whatever. Um, it's it's pretty quick and easy way to get into things. Um, a couple other points to say with the um, SDK is that I showed you the SDK online, the online API reference. Now that does not include the sample, the all the sample code that's in the SDK or all of the overview type documents. It's mainly just a raw API reference. Um, you can get we've got a separate online sharing mode for code share samples. Now what I control code share is let's see let's click into code share. There's a bunch of sample applications that either we have uploaded or users have uploaded, and it gives uh, um, maybe a little bit beyond what uh, are in the sample code in the SDK because those are mainly proof of concept to show how to use some of the methods. These are actually showing you how you can solve problems with those methods. So, um, some examples on the event notification thing: down a member if a monitor failed. Um, Oh, I, I've done some some fun ones along the time. They're just basically maybe not something you would use in a day to day, but to show the extent of eye control. Um, big IP blogging. What I did is I wrote a CGI script that will convert. Uh, it'll query the big IP and then generate an RSS feed. So if you want your RSS aggregator to pull out uh, your status to your big IP, that uses um, Perl on the back end and um, talking to your big IP with eye control. So there's a whole bunch of those. So that gives you several ways you can get into eye control information. You've got the downloadable SDK. You've got the online reference here. You've got online um, code share. And there's a lot of online supporting documentation on there as well. If you just go into the Dev Central Wiki, we've got some uh, the API reference and some other components here with sample code and cross-linking. Um, so hopefully this gives you all you need to get going on the eye control samples. Um, and the SDK. One last point I have to say is that the forums. So make sure when you're developing stuff, if you have any questions, I control is the, uh, the first bucket up here. You click on I control and if you're running V9 or if you're running V4, post away into those forums and uh, we'll try to get you help as soon as possible. Or if you have any questions on how, where to start, we can get you rolling um, there also. So anyway, thanks, thanks for tuning in today. And um, if you got any more questions about iControl or the SDK, the forums are the way to get in touch with us. Thanks.